back, Bachelor Nation. I'm sitting here right now with Victoria Fuller, and unfortunately, things didn't work out with Johnny. Victoria has found somebody very special in her life. I do want to point out that Johnny has left the studio. It's just Victoria and I up here right now. Like, bro, like, just, that's not, she didn't, she didn't love you. You don't, you don't do that on stage. You know how easily you could have said the stuff that she said to you, and you didn't? because you have respect. It's just like, dude, uh, I just didn't even want to do this. I, mean, I, I don't get how this is my fault when, when you, that's the thing, everyone dude. knows what you that's did. That's the type of person that she is. She's going to do anything she can to make it seem like it's your fault. That's who she is. I think what people forget is this was five months ago. So I'm excited in my new relationship. And that special someone is here tonight. Yeah. Should we bring him out? We should. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Greg. She was faking everything out there, and we both know that. She's in a full-blown relationship. Full-blown relationship. She doesn't give a much as how much time do you need to move on? Well, I mean, I don't know, but talking to him while we're working on things does not mean no. it's OK. No. Good to see you, man. Hey, How's everything? You. Have a seat. Well, um, it's been a minute since we've we've seen you, and now all of a sudden you're up here on the couch beside a very smitten Victoria Fuller. How did this whole thing happen? <laughs> we've been friends for a while. Uh, we met last year through mutual friends. Stayed in touch. She ended up going to Paradise, ended up getting engaged, and you know, through the weeks after uh, Paradise, we ended up just rekindling, yeah. yeah, and trying it out. The way that she pinned that was all like you. I'm sorry for you, this, that. It's just like, that just shows the type of person that she is. Dude, we both know the truth. We know it. I asked her, I was like, you know what? Like, we're at this moment where we're really interested in one another. And I was like, I want to take you out for a drink. I was like, so you want to go to like Rome in two days? Want to meet me for a drink in Rome? I swear. Obviously, we couldn't go and get a drink in New York City or Nashville. And so we were like, OK, we'll go to Europe and maybe see, test it out, see how, you know, we fit. Were you never worried about how this trip was going to be perceived? At the end of the day, like, no one has to understand it or get it, and that's OK. But, like, everyone can hate us if they want. I don't give a because I got this <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that you're up here, it's official. It's all out in the open. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching you both, and I'm watching your, your, your body language. Is love in the air here? We What's got that? tattoos. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, I guess we're going to do that. You both got those tattoos? Oh. I guess I guess we're doing that. Right? Screw it, right? <laughs> <laughs> it says ciao. It's in Italian for hi. So. <laughs> ciao, Italian for hi. I get it. I get it. it's not the best look in the world, but. <laughs> ah. All right, you two. I want to thank you both for being here. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. We wish you the best moving forward.